Tonight, many cars, uh, check that, the rains Monday and in the past week or so have damaged not only cars in Houston, but some in this area. KFDM's Lauren Hewitt reports some drivers are bringing their water damaged cars to auto repair shops in southeast Texas. She joins us live now from Scott's Import Service off College. And Lauren, are they dealing with flooded vehicles there? Yes, Greg. Floodwaters can damage your engine, they can damage your transmission, and a whole lot of other things. This is one of the two damaged vehicles damaged by floodwaters brought here, and more drivers might bring their vehicles in after they check with their insurance companies. Now, I don't know about the state of this engine here, but I do know that the air filter under here is covered in mildew. So if you drove through high waters, that's one of the things you need to look out for. Oh, man. It took only a day or two for mildew to grow in this car air vent. And that's not the only place mildew is showing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's wet. The inside of the vehicle already stinks. The carpet and padding underneath are soaked. But it's bad for your health because, you know, you're going to be um, having all that mildew in your, in your cars, have a bunch of upper respiratory, you know, illness. Let me see if they have water in here. Scott Avila owns Scott's import service off of College in Beaumont. He says the owner of this car. Like this one was a night. He can see the road. And this car recently drove through high water in Beaumont. But he said he got up to here. So when he noticed it run through how you know how water and it, you know, he just kept driving it and then the car stalled out. Avila says if your vehicle stalls, that means water got sucked into the engine. Now the engine makes a knocking sound. The engine start is running bad. It's missing because the piston is not doing its work. It's not doing all the way to the top. With the price tag starting at about $600 to take out the carpet and the padding underneath the carpet and clean that, and a price tag starting at about $3,000 to repair the engine, Avila says it's just not worth it cost-wise to drive through high water. A lot of people are taking chances, so not don't take a chance. Just call and say, I uh, can't go through, you know. Avila says even if your engine doesn't stall, if you drove through high water, it's best to get it checked. So they can inspect the car, inspect the fluids and everything. If you see any condition of water on the, on the oil or any fluid in it, uh, start, you know, uh, flushing the fluids out. And check the electric connectors, you know, check the car overall, uh, you know, brakes, stuff like that. I called and checked with a local car dealership. They say that they are seeing some flood, dam flood damaged vehicles being brought in, but not as much as after a big rainstorm about two years ago. Reporting live in Beaumont, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News.